It does make sense. Yeah. yeah, it's beneficial in the way that we have things to fix. They're going so fast that we make mistakes that maybe we wouldn't have playing at a slower tempo. So, yeah, we have things to fix, things that we may not see until we get to another team like that, which is good. So uh, we already have it situated. And then for, for you, I know um, Co Coach talked about the mistakes in the secondary were, were just from from the youngsters. As you as a leader, uh, kind of veteran guy, for you as a leader, as a veteran guy, uh, what was your message to those guys as well? It's communication. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can be two steps behind somebody from lack of communication and you won't make the tackle. So, and we're a good tackling team. So it's all about getting lined up and communicate the call. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that was a message to them. Thank you. You've been on campus a while now, but obviously right. with how deep you guys have been at safety, you haven't got a whole opportunity to play. What has what this whole fall camp, what has this been like for you now that you are you know, actually having a role with the defense? Uh, it's, you know, it's been good. It's been, um, I wouldn't say any more pressure because I've always been practicing in a role like I was going to be on the field. But the guys ahead of me were great. You know, that's what I told the other guys, Sterling, um, Peel, McAllister. It's, it's got to wait your turn, you know what I mean? But um, we're real cohesive. Kendall, uh, Lyric, JT, we're all good buddies on and off the field. So You mentioned you have to wait your turn. That, with the transfer portal, that's not necessarily always a thing anymore. So yeah. What made you stick it out to, to where you did? Um, I feel like I owe it to the people that, I mean, got me here and the university. I mean, they gave me the shot, so why not stick it out, you know? That's how, that's how I feel about it. What was it like taking the field, being a starter? What was, was, did it all live up to your, your dreams? Yeah, I mean, a lot of emotions, a lot of adrenaline, but once we got that settled down, it's great. Good time. What did it take to settle it down? Uh, that first tackle. Yeah, first few plays always get it going. Um, or maybe even Cobb's tackle. Set the <laughs> edge for him, he made the tackle, and I was ready to go after that. Uh, was it uh, more than you more than you expected in terms of the adrenaline and the uh, and the, the emotion of it? I don't think it was more than expected. I mean, I've been I've been out there before and on certain packages, so I know what it feels like. But uh, it definitely felt special, you know, first start, but it felt great. With how experienced JT is, how nice is it to have a guy that you can kind of lean on right there? It's great. Um, like I said, it's all about communication in the back end. So having JT, he kind of runs the whole, his side of the field, and that's nice. So we're not looking back and forth. We can see the formation without having to get too weird, you know, making communication calls, but it's nice. Did you guys room together at some point? Like JT? off campus? Yeah, you and JT. No. No. Okay. No, That's we stayed together you. at the our first ball game. Okay. Okay. So.